Hi guys, Dan Cooper here from Production Expert. In this video, I want to show you how to recreate drum room mics in your DAW. Now, if you record multi-track drums, you might not always have the opportunity to throw a room mic into the mix. It might be because you've got limited inputs on your audio interface. It might be because you don't have any spare mics to use. It might even be because the room that you're recording in is quite small. Now, the session that I've got here, I've got stereo overheads, kick drum, snare, and two toms, so six channels and it sounds something like this. Fairly tight, you can hear the spot mics work in there. But it's missing some ambience, it's missing some room, some space. Now we could use some reverb, of course we could. But I think that these drums would have benefited from having another microphone in the room, something that we could compress a little bit just to add a bit of density to the sound, a bit of aggression. But I didn't have a room mic available to me in this session. So I'm going to recreate it with a couple of plugins by Eventides, first being T-Verb and then the very aggressive sounding Omnipressor compressor. Let me show you how I've set this up first and then we'll look at those plugins again. So the drums are outputted via bus five and six to its own submix, input five and six. So I can control the volume of the overall drums there in the mix on the aux. Sends A, are going to bus 17 and 18. It's just a basic effects return. That's coming in over here on this stereo auxiliary, 17 and 18. And I've got T-verb in insert one, followed by Omnipressor. I've got a bit of level sense from each of those drum channels there to the T-verb aux track. Let's just listen to that quickly. It's quite subtle at the minute, but if I turn off the submix, you can hear just the reverb going through T-verb. And why T-verb? Why am I using this? Well, it's basically a model of a very famous room used by Tony Visconti to record the lead vocals of David Bowie for the song Heroes. And it uses a three mic setup, so close mic, and a couple of room mics that have got gates. For this video, we're not using the gates. But the beauty of this plugin is we can move these microphones around like this. We can do some panning, so this microphone can go off to the left. This microphone can go to the right. And we can set the distances of these in the room back like so. Let's just listen to that reverb in isolation and I'll play around with these mics quick. So something right at the back of the room. close. Could turn off this microphone here, this direct mic. So we're just playing with the room mics. Do something like this. Let's just bring the level up a bit. So what we're sort of in effect doing here is soloing the drum room mic and picking where we want these microphones in the space, right? And what I like to do with drum room mics in a mix is compress them quite hard. This is where Omnipressor comes into play. Let's take out a bypass and we'll just play around here with this function control. Getting something quite pumpy now. Now we can go back over to T-Verb and we can play around with the EQ of the room, the decay. Now to me that sounds how I want it for a drum room mic. Let's put it in with the other drums and see if we can find a nice balance for it. Might compress it a bit harder. Let's take the room mic out. Back in. Might shorten the decay a bit. Bring the top end down. Increase the level. Bring that back up in the mix.
Let's just do a quick AB with the acoustic guitar and bass guitar in for context. Excellent, I'd say that's doing the job nicely. For more information on T-Verb and Omnipressor by Eventide, do check out the Eventide website. I'm Dan Cooper from Production Expert, and I'll see you again soon.